This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents the Four Horsemen. That's right. We now have four major comets in the inner solar system. Comet C2012 S1 Ison, C2013 R1, Comet Lovejoy 2P Enki, and Comet Linear 2012 X1. I ain't worried about nothing. As you can see, I devised a formula that really has nothing to do with anything. This is a tale of four comets, four angels, four horsemen, four beasts, four whatever you want to label them, dude. I ain't worried about nothing. It's an interesting time indeed. Comet Ison may or may not be the comet of the century, but it, this is definitely the year of the comet. Yeah. It is very unusual to have four major comets within the inner solar system at the same time. And knowing that two or three of these comets looks like we don't necessarily know where, where they came from or where they originated from or what caused them makes them very interesting. Wouldn't you agree? Uh oh, thumb down Donnie just disagreed and thumb down to me. That's okay Donnie, down thumbs don't really hurt man. But if it makes you feel better, by all means, do it! Comet Enki treks around the sun every 3.3 years. Comet C2013 R1 Lovejoy has a 496 and a half year orbit. NASA said Ison has a 10,000 year orbit, but they still have it listed as not available on the JPL database. LOL, LAWL, ha ha ha. And Comet C2012 X1 Linear has a 1.4 year orbit. I can't be right, man. I woke up in a new Bugatti. Yeah, well, but that don't make no sense. See, if this is linear, how in the hell is that orbit supposed to be one year, man? I guess I read that wrong. That orbit looks pretty intense. I put Four Horsemen in the title just because it sounded cool. I'm not implying death, destruction, pestilence, and corporatism by any means. I'll point out in these names, the C stands for Comet. The P stands for Periodic Comet. Some people have said C2012 X1 Linear. It looks like a squid jellyfish that has had a recent outburst. Lovejoy has a long faint tail. So we got four cool comets in the inner solar system flying around town. And what I mean by that is you can literally see them with a telescope from your town at early dawn in the east. Yes, we have four major comets in the inner solar system. I have heard people quote 200 active comets in the solar system total. 200 comets within the boundary of Neptune. Though I have yet to verify the 200 comet data point, I've only seen it used by multiple science debunker type guys on the internet. Now, people who take away from learning shit online, where am I supposed to learn? The barber shop at a table of blue haired women at a coffee shop on Sunday dawn? Am I supposed to go back to college? That shit is expensive. And I've already done it once. I mean twice. But right now, we don't want to get off track. We are focusing on the four horsemen, the four dragons, four comets. Whatever you want to call them, man. I'm cool with it. I'm a writer. I throw words around. So we got these four horsemen coming from the four corners of the galaxy. Maybe they represent water, earth, air, and fire. Maybe they represent nothing. Maybe they bring us new elements. I'll say it again. Science can explain multiple theories on how the dinosaurs died. But neither science or religion can explain why planet Mother Earth stopped making giant dinosaurs and started making Neanderthals that turned into humans. So the question is, how, what, or why did Earth stop making giant lizards and start making rock and roll? Science and religion really have no solid answers on this. And I know a lot of people are like, who gives a flying flip shit about comets? And those people will not understand why reintroducing people to the heavens is quixotic. Alas, I am crestfallen, bitches. Oh, I'll get over it. Now let us get back to learning and imagining. You can only ignore the heavens for so long. We'll keep our eye out and see if there are any strange occurrences on Earth. Any giant storms, massive earthquakes, strange behaviors, aliens, half aliens, tralians. If a comet is a dirty snowball, who threw it? And wouldn't you say that comets are more like miniature suns than dirty snowballs? Or if anything, it's like a dirty snowball firework because they get brighter. They glow. Snowballs don't glow. Some comets explode. Comets have tails, up to six tails with the new P5 comet. It sprouted six tails. We know four defined tails, ion tail, dust tail, sodium tail, anti-tail. And I'll point out again, snowballs do not have a tail, let alone four to six tails. And I want to represent to you that my description of calling a comet a jet rink to me still feels like a far superior name than a dirty snowball because a comet flies around like a jet and it goes in an orbit that could be skated or rolled out at any decent roller rink 
skating rink or hockey rink. Or we could call it a flaming cat dragon tank. I guess we'll just stick with comets for now. The future is a circle of moments that is never here now. All right, and for you doom junkies, I'll give you this, if I have to. If science is right, and these are four major dirty snowballs that are spewing snow, a lot of that snow is going to end up on Earth, and it will turn into water. And so the water levels will be rising, and we have a lot of cities that are on the coast that never prepared or planned for rising water levels. And I'm pretty sure the water levels are going to keep on rising. Rising, rising. Keep your water levels rising, rising. So there you go, Doom Junkies. Earth's going to get more water which I would think ha would have short-term, medium-term, and long-term consequences. Well, okay. We'll keep an eye on the story, see if anything happens. Hopefully, we'll be able to see some of them soon. Happy Sunday. God bless everybody. Stay cool. Admit it, four horsemen sounded way better than four dirty snowballs. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing, yeah. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. I woke up in a new Bugatti.